we have engaged today very actively and constructively with our Australian colleagues. And uh, President Putin had a very uh, long and uh, I was told very constructive, I was told by my Australian colleague, very constructive and very good uh, conversation with the uh, Australian Prime Minister. On the basis of that, uh, we proposed some amendments. Some of them have been incorporated. Such as? Which Such as, for instance, we, we are calling for, uh, well, basically, ceasefire around the crash uh, site so that, you know, the fighting were not interfering in the... That has been accepted? That, that, has, been, that has been accepted. But uh, uh, still, uh, we need to make sure that the final product, which we hope will be uh, adopted by the Security Council, is reflecting the need to have an impartial international investigation. Do you, will you support that? Of course, international in, in, investigation. impartial international investigation will support, and this is something which we reflected uh, in uh, do you the need draft. More time those, no, those I mean, good are, negotiations. So, if those key differences that you proposed in your resolution are incorporated, will you block no, the this, Australian this, draft? No, this, I, you know, it's. Uh, I don't want to use. I don't like using big words, but it's a very serious uh, situation. Okay. And uh, as I say, the uh, Security Council already pronounced itself on the need for impartial international investigation. And, those, and it was a British proposal. It was a press statement which was proposed by the British, and we even did not immediately accept it. But then we did accept it, and uh, it was a very good press statement. So if we're serious, and, and of course under these circumstances, the only way to do it is to conduct an impartial international investigation. So what is it the OSCE involvement that concerns you? No, no, we see, no, no, we see, I mean, the rest of the things, we are, I mean, we are prepared to do uh, a whole lot of things, like of course access and uh, all other requirements. As I say, I think we basically have a perfect understanding after all the discussions we have had uh, about the rest of the text. But there is this key thing. We must make sure that it is impartial international. So, so, what, 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 what is it about the Australian draft that you think is not impartial? Well, uh, we are concerned that it does not uh, accurately enough reflect uh, the need for impartial international. I am putting it very mildly. If but it what, why if it I don't know if, no, no, if, no, if, no, if, no, no, I'm not, no, it's, it's, no, 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 if questions, please. We, we are convening after this, we are convening consultation, we asked for consultation on the text. I hope my Australian colleague is going to show up for that. Uh, and uh, we will uh, explain. Oh, this is happening tonight. Tonight, tonight. Tonight, tonight after, after the session, we asked for a meeting to discuss the text because uh, we understand, obviously, the great importance and emotional uh, sort of gravity of this to those nations who lost uh, their citizens. And, uh, also, President Putin had a very good and long conversation with the um, uh, Prime Minister of the Netherlands. Uh, we know that some foreign ministers are coming in, and they want to vote tomorrow and adopt a resolution tomorrow. But it must be a good resolution. It must be a resolution for impartial international investigation. That we are going to support wholeheartedly. And the rest of it, of course, access, security of the area, nobody uh, interfering in anything. Things need to be done properly, but things need to be done properly under impartial international investigation. Are confident you reach agreement tonight? I hope we can. I hope we can. I, I, you know, because to me it's so obvious. There are so many. The precedent of uh, 1988, uh, the obvious fact that ICAO is the lead agency in international investigation, they have the expertise, uh, and they are not in a, a party involved in this whole very uh, messy and uh, complicated situation. So we think that this is uh, the only way to proceed. If, I mean, if the Security Council is to to do the job it must do, uh, to put together something, to help put together something which is really credible, which is going to uh, lead to getting to the bottom of it, to discover all the circumstances, and to discover uh, who actually did it. So this is so what the But will Russia accept OSCE investigators? OSCE is it's not in the, in the books. I mean, OSCE is not supposed to investigate. ICAO is supposed to investigate. So you will not accept No, OSCE, uh, nobody is talking about OSCE investigators. No, no, no. We see, we see that some original thing, but uh, the, it's not the idea. We see is not supposed to uh, investigate their uh, situations. The, the idea is that it, it's ICAO is supposed to be in the lead on this, and, the, and nobody is suggesting we see that uh, uh, investigation. The ICAO investigators today can get to the side. Do you think this resolution will help? Uh, it will if it's uh, a properly worded resolution, and in fact, on access, uh, we we have agreement on access and uh, like. Uh, Warning those who may have interfered in, uh, in access, we have heard complaints, reports, but 
those are, I must say, very confusing reports because some people tend to blame you know, the armed groups, those people who control the sites. But on, the other, on the other hand, we hear that they were trying to establish humanitarian corridors. They complain about the fact that only four people showed up for experts from uh, the Ukrainian side, whereas they were expecting like almost 100 experts. For some reason, they had to let it delay their uh, point of uh, arrival. So it's, uh, it's uh, actually, uh, unfortunately, sometimes uh, things are covered from different angles. I was told by my Australian colleagues the kind of coverage they're seeing in Australia. I watch Russian television uh, all day long. I saw uh, a CNN report even the day before yesterday where the CNN reporter was standing on the crash site and describing how the locals were interacting with the Ukrainians who were arriving on the scene in an amicable manner. So it's, it's a very confusing thing. We must be objective uh, and of course we must tell uh, those who are uh, on the ground who will be participating in that uh, uh, investigation that it must be a really very thorough, impartial investigation that, that every, everybody should do uh, what they can in order to support that investigation. Thank you. 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 Thank you.